Welcome back to a new episode of Chips and Tricks. Having trouble removing chips when slotting? Do you find yourself battling poor surfaces? Perhaps you have had to rack up a few broken tools? Today I have three valuable tips on how you can improve chip transport when slotting. A slot is a recess on the workpiece that does not cut the workpiece completely. Creating a slot is a challenge because the milling cutter has to withstand demanding loads. I will now explain how you can do this. During slotting, the tool is engaged with the material by 180 degrees. This results in a high mechanical load and high radial deflection forces acting on the tool. Thermal load on the cutting edge is also a real challenge. As a general rule, the deeper the slot, the more difficult it is to remove chips. This is because the chips cannot fly away sideways when slotting. This is where the danger lies. The high machining volumes generated during slotting result in a high number of chips. If these chips are not removed effectively, they can be drawn back into the workpiece by the milling cutter. The result? A poor finish and in the worst case, even tool breakage. So what can you do to improve chip removal during slotting? On the one hand, you can use compressed air or cooling to remove chips from the work area. On the other hand, you can also help by choosing the right tool. Since, as we already discussed, the chips cannot fly away to the side during slotting, a large chip space is particularly important here. Milling cutters with a smaller number of cutting edges, such as two or three fluted cutters, are suitable for this purpose. My chip tip for flawless chip removal when slotting it's cool to cool if you want to remove chips properly.